the D3 regional semifinals here. Emmanuel Christian, number one seed, taking on fellow number one seed, Ottawa Glandorf. This one going to be at BGSU tonight, 8 p.m., live on the BCSN app. Nate Miles, a top recruit in the state. Ottawa Glandorf has one of their own, Ohio State commit Colin White. Both of them very similar stat lines going into this, about 25 points, eight to nine rebounds, so a battle of stars. How is this one going to shake out, Mike Rob? Hey, Colin White, I had to go do my research. This guy is a stud. Real deal. I was like, who is this guy? I'm on his Twitter page. I became a fan and everything. You know, <laughs> um, this, this guy is, uh, and I've talked to some of the coaches uh, that's, that's, that knows him really, really well and, and uh, that's been on the circuit with him in the AAU. Mm -hmm. uh, the kid's just a phenomenal athlete, and he is the reason for the season for this Ottawa Glendorf team. Yes. You know, the way he dunks the basketball, the way he rebounds, the way he boxes, the way he leads, uh, that, that, that mimics what we see with EC. Obviously, Ottawa Glendorf is a, is a program. They've right. been doing it for a while, and what's going to happen here is we're going to see if Emmanuel Christian can do what they needed to do earlier in the season, make the make the correct adjustments. Mm -hmm. It's not about them not having enough talent. It's about the coaching. It's about making adjustments. Otto Glandorf has been there. They've done that. Um, and with a young coach, has he learned enough this season to be able to make those right adjustments? Have he, has he been put in those situations enough to be able to uh, overcome, you know, being down 10 points in the third quarter and, and being able to make the right adjustment? going from zone or going from a triangle in two or whatever right. it may need to be. So that's what I'm looking forward to here. Um, it's an uphill battle for EC, but I think that they can pull it out if Nate does some neat things. And Mike talked about the, they've been there before. This is a D3 state runner-up team last year in Ottawa yeah. Glendorf, so they've been there. Yeah, a pro this is oozing with program. I mean, the fact yeah. that they build yes. a program, they play the, the court that they have is nicknamed the Supreme Court. There's season ticket holders That's for Ottawa Glendorf boys dope. and girls basketball inside that gym. You know, I said that St. John's Whitmer game is juicy. Here's my line for this worth the price of admission. Yes. The Stro is going to be packed. I've been there for multiple regional tournaments on, on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays. There's going to be a line, so if you want to get there and, and you don't want to sit in a line or stand got in a nice line. nice weather, though, at least. That's right. you got to get there early. It's worth the price of admission because of the two that we talked about. Nate Miles, a future D1 recruit, uh, current D1 recruit, and then Colin yes. White, the future Buckeye. But I wanted to point out this out. This region, so 16 teams are left across the entire state in each division. This right. is Division Three. So four of the 16 teams in this region, four ranked in the top 10. Number one, number four, number five, and number eight, all in this region. So... You could say, hey, whoever comes out of this region re winning a regional semi, re winning a regional final is going to be battle-tested and well set up Absolutely. to win the whole thing. Yeah, similar to what we talked about with St. John's Central Catholic, right? You've been through the fire. You know how to finish stuff out. Both of these, we talked about Nate Miles, right? We talked about, about Colin White. They're both top five recruits in the state in their class. Obviously, we know Colin White going to Ohio State. We've mentioned that. But the big thing, again, for me, for Emmanuel, is – can Antoine Mister continue to, to fill the role that mm. he's done the last few weeks? He's can routinely now giving you 10, 12, 14 points. And that feels like it's been a big difference where a lot of the season, they needed 60 out of Jalen Brown and Nate Miles to claw out some of these games. Can Antoine Mister continue to fill that role when they're going to need him, obviously, the most that they've needed him all season facing off Ottawa Glendorf? Yeah, and I think with this is also, yes, the kids on the court, get the job done. They're the one dribbling. They're the one preventing turnovers. They're the ones playing defense, rebounding, putting the ball in the hoop. It's also about coaching. Coaching matters. I heard you Seth talk about Harris that last week. With Cardinal Stritch in the previous seasons had gone on some tournament runs. Mm -hmm. He He's kind of uh, earned his stripes a little bit, but this is another opportunity for, for said Harris to find a way to be strategic, find a way to make the right moves and, don't gas your five starters. You know, get those starters some minutes on the bench in the first quarter. Strategically do that. Get them a breather for 30 seconds. Pop them back in. Right. Pop them back out throughout an entire game to know what you got to do. Because I think for Emmanuel Christian, if you think you're going to be in this game, which obviously you do, when it's this caliber of an opponent, you have to assume and expect that it's going to be a game in the fourth quarter. Right. So what are you doing in quarters one, two, three? Keep to make sure that miles, you're ready Jaylen, to yes. go in that fourth quarter. And we've seen some games go to overtime with these, yep. these teams. Ottawa Glendorf in the previous in the district tournament. So I think that this is an opportunity and in some ways a challenge for said Harris and his coaching staff, who is 
primo. The Joplins are on this uh, mm -hmm. coaching staff, and, and they are well-versed in some of those uh, stretch connections coming over to Emmanuel Christian. They are ready to go. Here's that opportunity to shine. Winner will take on the winner of Margareta and Worthington Christian.